Hey there everybody, welcome to another episode of Tiago's Wildlife. Today I'm going to show you the two, whoa, that was quite a strike, <laughs> the two most common garden snakes of Southern Africa. Um, the first one that I'm going to show you is the brown house snake. Now please notice that brown house snakes are not plain brown. Um, there are many brown snakes in South Africa and a brown house snake is one of them, but it has white eyebrows and often markings on the body. Um, these snakes are found throughout Southern Africa um, and they get to about, so the average length is around half a meter, uh, but in uh, KwaZulu-Natal, the east coast, they can get to quite a bit over a meter. These are incredibly beautiful snakes, almost like our own little mini pythons. <laughs> uh, they love to eat rodents, that's their favorite food, uh, but they also prey on lizards, uh, occasionally frogs, and they have even been known to eat other snakes. Um, they are completely harmless constrictors. They have many sharp recurved teeth, but absolutely no venom. And they are nocturnal snakes. If you can see it's a vertical pupil there, cat eye, um, because they are active at night. Um, a lot of these snakes are killed by people in their gardens. Um, they also, a lot of them are killed by traffic, uh, but they're also preyed on uh, by other snakes. And, oh, Oh, a fly. <laughs> oh, almost got it striking again. There we go. Striking, striking. Oh, there we go. Quite an impressive shot there. Whoa, see, almost got me there. Uh, now, if it were to actually latch onto me, I'll just get a few little drops of blood. You don't even need a plaster. So, yeah, these are great, great snakes to have around for rodent control. Okay. And the other snake mm -hmm. that we've got here, geez, I just love these brown house snakes. Eh? They are fantastic. I don't know if you are getting to see this iridescent blue sheen that it's got in the sun as well. Incredibly mm. beautiful snakes. Um, okay, and like uh, with all snakes, in case uh, some of you don't know, snakes smell with their tongues. This is why it keeps flickering its tongue out, trying to uh, gauge what's going on in, in its environment. It doesn't have great eyesight. Okay, there's our brown house snake for now. Let's uh, put you aside. Uh, go release you a bit later. And then our other most common garden snake in South Africa is a herald, sometimes also known as a red lip herald, but they don't always have red lips. This one does have some beautiful lipstick. Look at that. Now these snakes are also often called night adders, which is not true. They are not adders at all. They are back fanged snakes. Um, but when they are feeling threatened, let's see if we can, there we go. There's a display by a herald snake where it's flattening its head to look viper-like. Let's do behind the camera there, there, yeah. So trying to make itself look really scary so that you leave it alone. Um, they, ha they, they are considered semi-venomous, so they, oh, their venom, let me actually, with, I don't feel like getting bitten. It's uh, not even as bad as a bee sting. I know of a two-year-old that uh, was bitten and all she did was say ouch. So it can't even harm a bunny. Um, very distinctive of these snakes are the black triangles on the head. Um, often iridescent blue as well, so they don't always have the red lip, like I said. Um, they also often have white speckles on the body. Um, this one's got very faint white speckles. But uh, yeah, pretty distinctive is that black marking on the head, which also has an iridescent blue to it. So uh, sometimes also called a Blaukop Kapel. So this is and confused for a cobra, which it looks nothing like. <laughs> and it's confused for a, an adder or viper, which it also is not related to, except for that they're all snakes. Now these guys also get to about uh, half a meter. Um, they can get a bit longer, but uh, yeah, generally um, a half meter one in this area is a decent length. All right, a little uh, glitch in the production there, a little interruption. Um, anyway, there we, we have the, the herald snake. Um, so you should be able to, hopefully uh, next time you see one of these amazing snakes in your garden, uh, this or the brown house snake, uh, you will realize that it's fine just to leave them alone and let them do their thing. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful snake. Okay, thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed this educational episode of Tiago's Wildlife. Um, if you did, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Help me grow this channel and bring you more educational episodes about the amazing species of snakes that we find here in our beautiful South Africa. Okay, keep well. <laughs>